My name is Maylin and I study architecture. I'm a second year student right now. I'm from Walgagoski, Finland, but I come from a multicultural family. So my dad's Finnish, my mom's Chinese. So I've also lived in China for five years. So I started school there. Um, and then I moved to Finland for the rest of my education. I did a Finnish high school. And then after that, I just came straight to Nottingham University. I think my biggest passion is traveling. So that's one of the reasons why I moved abroad to um, study. So yeah, and like that kind of relates to my course then too, because when I traveled, um, I saw like all these different kinds of buildings that fascinated me and then kind of led me to want to study architecture. Since a young age, I knew um, I wanted to go to university because I enjoyed studying, I did well on it. And I chose University of Nottingham because I really liked how green the campus was. And also I liked the look of the city because it's just the right size for me. It's not too big, not too small. Before I started studying architecture, I thought the course would be um, a bit more academic than I found out it was. So for us, it's really design based, which it's really nice, but I found it a bit surprising at first. So I thought there would be a bit more like math and physics, um, which is really a small part. It's like one lecture series that we have that includes physics and math. So then in a way, yeah, it's less academic than I thought it would be. I think my first day of second year in studio was really memorable because um, for second year we get to choose our own unit and I got into the South Africa Build Project unit. So with that, like, I feel like everyone was just really excited for the project we're doing. So we're designing a daycare um, in South Africa and then in spring we'll fly there and build it. So I think everyone was just really excited about the whole project and just meeting people and like knowing the group that they're going to travel with. So for my first year, it was during COVID. So we didn't have the normal university formals. Um, but because everyone was just excited to just kind of have a bigger gathering. Um, so we went to normal dinner, but everyone dressed up fancy without having that fancy meal. And just, it was still a normal dinner, but we weren't just dressed up. And then it just became a bigger thing, just talking with people still having, trying to get a normal life in the middle of COVID. I think the campus has a lot of like kind of photogenic spots and just, nice places to walk around. Um, so one of my favorite spots is the stepping stones in the University Lake. And then there's also the big Nottingham sign, which is great for photos. And then there's also the Millennium Garden, which is really nice just to just sit there and chill for a while. One of my favorite restaurants in Nottingham is um, the Yale trip to Jerusalem, which is said to be the oldest pub. And in there you get to like dine in a cave, which is pretty cool. Uh, and another wise, nice one is the pitcher and piano, which is this old like Catholic church, I think. And it's just turned into a restaurant. So you can see these stained glass windows, but then they also have like a cocktail bar and it's just a really cool place. I really like living in halls because it was kind of like a stepping stone to like completely independent because um, it was catered and like they cleaned our toilets. So it was a bit less out of our minds. And then for me, the commute to architecture department was like three minutes. So that was great when carrying our like models and our big drawing boards and all the equipment. So that made it really easy first year and just kind of focusing on starting university and not about the chores we need to do and spending like half an hour a day to commute. By being a student in University of Nottingham, um, I liked how like I was part of this community that had a lot of also international students because they also have the two other campuses in Malaysia and China. So then that was like, I wanted to be in an international community coming from abroad. And I also liked, um, how like it's a prestigious university. It's part of the Russell group, which kind of was also an important factor for me. And also how much the university focuses on sustainability, which I found really important. I think the best thing about my course is the projects we have, which I find really interesting, um, especially our current project 
um, with the design build project in South Africa. So it's designing this daycare for a local community in rural South Africa. And then we get to design it in groups and then show it to the head teacher. Um, and then they get to pick which design they like the best and it gets approved from the local organization that can be built. Then we get to travel to South Africa as a group and then see this incredible project actually execute it and come to life and then how the local com community gets to use it. At university I've met a lot of friendly people. For example, my neighbor in Halls, she offered me to stay at her family's house over the Easter break, which felt like I was really supported abroad, which was really nice. I really like the group of students we have in um, our studio unit, because it's just inspiring to see each other's work and like ask how's your project coming along and kind of giving each other ideas how to improve it, which really has helped me along with those of my own projects. I'm part of the tennis club, so they do sessions every Wednesday and Saturday. So when I feel like it, I just go and play some tennis with the other people that show up and it's just this chill thing to get your mind out of work. And another thing that I do is travel society, which I find, which is a really good opportunity to international students to see the UK. And it's really affordable too, with the day trip prices being only 12 pounds. While coming to university, I've realized how independent I have come, become in the process because now it's like I need to figure out housing by myself, bills, and sometimes it can be a bit much, but then we figure it out together as a friend group, which we live together with. So I'm not with the problems alone, which is good. Through my course, I've been able to develop my presenting skills. So at the beginning of the project, we'll have tutorials with um, our tutors and then kind of talk through our initial ideas and then we do that for the next few weeks or months, depending how long the project is. And then because we do it so often, just talking about our own project, it helps us to get used to it because we just do it so often. So by the end of it, for the final presentation um, that we talk through the whole class, it's just easier by that point. And for me, like by the end of it, I was talking half an hour just on my own project and my design process. My biggest difficulty in university is how we need to timetable everything ourselves. So we have these big projects that can take like two months and it's up to us to kind of keep ourselves in track that we're moving the project along according to the right time, um, which was difficult for me because I'm a bit of a procrastinator. So I leave a lot of work to the end. So I'm just trying to get better at it because then at the end it's just, it gets pretty bad with like three hours of sleep. Our course really emphasizes on us not to stress too much about the projects and not leave things for the last minute. So we even had like a lecture about like timetabling and then how not to procrastinate and have those like working till 3 a.m how to avoid that. So the architecture course in the UK in total is seven years, um, three years bachelor's, one year work practice, two years master's and one year work practice to officially become an architect. Um, for me being an international student, um, I wanted to do my bachelor's year and then I also wanted to get some work practice. So through that, through the university, they helped me find a work practice and I just find that really useful to just have that one year in industry and gain invaluable experience. My personal tutor has helped me kind of decide what I wanted to do um, for the summer vacation between second and third year, which I thought is a valuable time to like get experience related to architecture. So they've recommended me um, like applying for our architecture firms or internships or then just kind of doing labor work at a construction site, which is also important for architects to learn how to actually build a building. I'm sure um, the friends that I make here at university, I'll still be in touch with um, with the years to come. Whenever I come back to the UK and I'll visit them. And through my course, I've learned valuable skills, which I'm sure 
will help me throughout my career a lot. My dream after graduating university is become an architect in a big city, but like focus on sustainable design. So how to make cities more sustainable and economically friendly.